Match two of Australia's preparation in the UK turned from T20 to 50 over in Southampton, with the English weather turning it on. The familiar pair of Finch and Warner open the innings. Warner picking up where he left off on Friday. Finch not quite so lucky. Marnus Labuschagne proved a good ally, dominating pace before the tweakers toppled the middle order. But after a first ball duck in game one, Daniel Sams again went cheaply, but given a second chance, it had proved costly as the all-rounder combined with Mitchell Stark and AJ Ty. The lower middle order contributing 146 runs, tied the lone man past 50, Marcus Stoinis eventually stemming the flow, four wickets for the returning all-rounder. Set 251, Matthew Wade was gone second ball in typical Stark fashion. His partner picking up the slack, Stoinis' form with the ball continuing with the bat. Riley Meredith's stronghold over Steve Smith continued, a brute removing the number three, before Stoinis and Glenn Maxwell steadied the ship. The two went shot for shot before Meredith's tactics around the wicket worked, Stoinis an unlucky 13 short of a century. Running out of partners, Maxwell upped the ante and did what his partner couldn't, finishing 108 from just 114 balls in a two wicket victory, Remarkable considering his lack of cricket in lockdown. Uh, that's, I think, my third hit on turf in the last seven months. So um, since the BBL final, I haven't had a hit um, really against any bowlers. So uh, it's nice to get out there and um, took me a bit of time to get used to the wicket. But after that, it was, um, it was nice to get some rhythm. 